Okay, this is going to be a quick demo for my mini custom brush manager. It's right here at the bottom right. There's only two tabs. And it's really simple. It's basically a less advanced version of my my main custom brush manager that you can see at the top left that I'm flicking back and forth with, which you can find um, DeviantArt or uh, my Facebook or whatever. But it's just something simple that I wanted to make. Uh, you get 12, 12 buttons here that you click, uh, and they load up brush libraries that you have saved. You see, uh, they all work. At the top left here of the library, you can see um, CL or ASCA. So basically a visual identifier for what library you have open, and each one has one. I'm not going to go through them all. You can edit these any way you want. I just have these designated with, uh, with names and images just for easy organization uh, but you have four custom that you can throw anything you want into like I said you can add whatever you want to any of these anyways but just for organizational uh, a lot of people like to separate things but yeah you can see that there's there's tool tips for each but yeah uh, it's pretty simple uh, and they load up pretty quick depends on your your system resources and what you have for power uh, how many brushes that you have in there but normally they they, they load pretty quickly uh, I doubt you'd be switching around much anyway to be honest um, you can see they all work. I'll just grab a couple just to show you that it works. <laughs> but there you go. Now let's say I like one of these brushes. It doesn't really matter, but I want to move it to a different library or I want to make a whole new set. It doesn't really matter. I can go to the options here. Uh, basically, it's it's pretty simple. There's new, rename, delete. Um, Clear brush controls, which I'll show you later. Save, append, uh, replace. Just uh, simple stuff here. You can open and close the brush editor from here. You can open and close the brush presets from here. You can open the uh, preset manager from here if you want to edit that way. It doesn't really matter if you want to shift things around quickly. That's pretty simple. Not, not too advanced. Not hard to, to figure out. Um, I'll make a new or a new library really quick just to show you. Um, and everything works. Well, let's say I like this brush and I want to add it to this random library. I'll just put a chalk demo here. You can see it's added down here at the bottom. And I'll go to the text real quick so you can see that it's named correctly. Chalk demo there. And I'll rename it to show you uh, the rename feature works. It's, it's Photoshop's default name change. Demo 2. And as you can see, the name change works. And I'll show you delete in a second. Now, when you save, it's best to save in a folder that you know where all your stuff is. Um, I usually have mine right in my mini custom brush manager, brush libraries folder. You can see I'll save it as demo task. And it'll be overwritten. And now I'll just, I'll just load up a random, I'll load up a sword real quick just to to show you. Then I'll replace, which is going to re replace the assorted with whatever I choose, and I'll put demo test. And you can see that's been loaded correctly. Uh, it completely swaps out assorted. And I'll just show you the text to show you that it's saved um, correctly. Demo 2 is there. Now, I, you can append to here if I want. I can take anything. I'll take these pen and ink brushes and append them. Pretty simple. Nothing, nothing complicated. Um, I'll save it again real quick. Real simple. And I'll show you the delete real fast here. Let me go to text and find that chalk too. Okay, we'll grab chalk too and I'll delete it. Yes, cancel. We'll place okay. You can see it's gone. And I'll save. You always gotta save. Make sure you save in the right place with the right name. Um, and you'll see it's saved. I showed you that. Now, when editing the uh, the loadable libraries, let's say I want to take something from Assorted here. Let's say uh, this paintbrush. I like this paintbrush, but I want to I want to move it to my actual paint library here. As you can see, PA for paint. Um, say new, say painter demo. Now, since you're saving to a loadable library, make sure you you know exactly what library you're saving to before you save. Um, 
you can use the visual here or you can go to text and just make sure you know where you're saving um, and what name it is and we'll go to save and you'll see uh, a folder called loadable libraries and make sure we pick the right one which is paint and we will save and it'll ask me to overwrite and we'll say okay now it's saved so you can see the the paint painter demo that we made here and we'll go to a sort of just to load that up real quick just to show you and then we'll go back to paint and you can see that it's been saved correctly so you can move stuff around you can grab things from other brush libraries that you have uh, doesn't matter uh, you can move things around you can just replace them or you can append things to the bottom and just save it and you have those things added to your brush library yeah, it's pretty simple. I'll show you clear brush controls. I don't know if people will even use this option, but whatever. Let's say you're editing brushes or you don't like a, a certain check here. You can just clear all brush controls. Just bring your, your paintbrush back to default and you can, you know, edit from there, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty simple. And my little about page just tells you what it is and then you, my uh, personal links are down here that open in your browser. And that's about it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's nice to have things organized. So, but yeah, the only thing is, uh, only lim real limitations are, don't change any folder names, any of these folders in the main mini custom brush manager. Don't change any of the folder names. I uh, don't delete anything. Don't rename. Don't rename anything in the loadable libraries. Um, as far as you know, whatever you save in here, you can do what you want with. But as far as loadable libraries, don't change the folder names. I uh, don't change the the file names, those are all things that need to be kept the same. Now you do have backups, let's say you want to start from scratch with a sorted. Um, I'll open it up here, actually, let me go to actually replace. Um, I'll go to a sorted, let's say I want to start from scratch. And you can see you're left with the visual identifier, AS. And you can see, obviously it's in text and you can, you can add whatever you want here. You can start all over, and all you have to do is overwrite the loadable library um, file right here, and it'll be saved. I'm not going to do it because I actually need those brushes. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I want to say no. So you get a dozen libraries that you can edit. Uh, you can use to organize. Yeah, that's about it. It's pretty handy. It's it's small. It just fits in the corner. Um, you can see right underneath my digital painting companion here, which actually uh, takes up doesn't take up too much space. So that's that's pretty much how I set up and I usually keep it on small thumbnail because I like to see the thumbs yeah it's clean and works pretty quickly like I said you can add whatever you want in there there are there are empty backups like I showed earlier just in case you want to start all over or you accidentally save over something you shouldn't I always make sure you know where you're saving and what loadable library you're saving to if you are saving uh, the loadable libraries after you edit you can use it to edit your whatever libraries that you have uh, previously. Yeah, you can edit them with these options if you want. Uh, and save them out real quick and have a nice little hub to where you know, you know where all your brushes are. And you can load them up you know, on the fly real quick. You know what I mean? So yeah, pretty easy. There you go. Quick demo.